So if I said to you today, Linton, find me a property to buy, where would where would you be looking? What state? What's your favourite? Uh, Perth is, for me, the best place at a macro level to be to be buying an I'm investment property. I'm salty on that one at the moment, so I don't want to <laughs> mine late. <laughs> um, so Perth is on macro level the highest. <coughs> Absolutely. Highest so yep. Perth over the past uh, 12 months has grown 15.2% mm -hmm. with a, a close to a 5% gross yield. So a 20% return in in the past 12 months. Now, fundamentally, why we like Perth, A, at a macro level, it's it's the right time within the cycle mm -hmm. for Perth to, to grow. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you've got $5.2 billion of budget surplus, so more money in the government coffers to spend on roads and infrastructure growth than any other state. You've got the second highest interstate migration. So more people are migrating to Queensland than into WA than any other state or territory. On top of that, you've got the second lowest property prices in the country. So the median house price is around 679. You've also got the lowest vacancy rate in the country at about a half of a percent. Really? Now, CoreLogic says a balanced market is 3%, so yeah. it's chronically undersupplied. So housing prices really don't have anywhere to go but up in terms of that. You've also got uh, the highest incomes in the country. So people in Perth, believe it really? or not, earn a lot of money. And maybe that's because there's a big mine money, contingency, yeah. but, um, but, but nevertheless, you know, you've got people over there in their early 20s earning $150,000. Know, 